the harvest is definitely plentiful. We, we need uh, more and more faithful uh, preachers, so we do not have an abundance. Um, we thank God he's been raising uh, faithful preachers for, for years now. Uh, but the continent is in need of more faithful uh, preachers. Um, and uh, Simeon Trust itself uh, is in need of um, uh, local African uh, instructors, um, you know, and it's, it's investing uh, in, 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 in men who would be willing to serve in that, in that way uh, of, of training other um, other men in, 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 in instructing the, the Simeon Trust work. So I think doing the Book of Amos, this workshop, has been a particularly good thing because Amos is the book that speaks so strongly. It's not the only book, but it has a very clear message about the necessary implication for Christians of being concerned about the poor and the marginalized and the weak and the needy. But it presents that message not as a substitute to the gospel, but as a necessary consequence of being one of God's people and experiencing the privilege and the redemption that God has given us. There's a book, Expositional Preaching by David Helm, has really helped me. Before the book and the Charles Simeon Trust, I, yes, I used to go to the first audience, but after the first audience, and the author's point, I came direct to today. Now, David Helm and the CS uh, workshop made it a little bit harder because now you have to think the point of the author are reflected theologically, then persuade your people on the point again, which to me that has been a, um, a great help. It's a challenge but it makes my preaching to be uh, not just a light work, it's a hard work, but worth to, to do it. So the book and the workshop here has really impacted me.